Welcome to Electron Online. Here's another application of the partial derivative. Let's use it for the ideal gas law, which says that PV equals nRT. Now PV and T, the pressure, the volume, and the temperature, are the state variables of the gas. N is the number of moles, and R is the gas constant. So let's assume that N, the number of moles, stays constant. So we're going to let N times R simply be K a constant, and we rewrite the equation PV equals K times T. Now what we're trying to find is we're trying to find the rate of change of the pressure with respect to volume as the temperature remains constant. We're going to assume the temperature remains constant. And so how does the pressure change with the change in the volume? The way to do that is to then write P as a function of V and T. So what we're going to do here is P is now going to become a function of the variable V, the volume, and the variable T, the constant. And so this can now be written P is equal to KT over V. Now we're going to take the partial derivative of that function with respect to the volume. The partial of P with respect to V is equal to, well, if you think of this as equal to KT times V to the minus 1. Since K and T are now constants, we take the derivative of V to the minus 1. We get minus 1 times KT times V to the minus 2, which is equal to minus KT divided by V squared. The rate of change of the pressure with respect to the volume is equal to minus KT over V squared. Now we can write that slightly different. We could say, well, let's write this as minus KT over V times 1 over V. Why did I do that? Because notice that KT divided by V, and let me go over it right here, is equal to the pressure. So this portion right here can be substituted by the variable P, which means that the partial of P with respect to the volume, the, the rate of change of the pressure with respect to the change in the volume, is equal to minus P times 1 over V, or better yet, we could say that the change in the pressure with respect to the volume is equal to minus P divided by V. And that's how we can express that. Now, does it make sense? An increase in the volume will then be a decrease in the pressure because the rate of change of the pressure with respect to the volume is going to be negative P over V. V is small, the ratio will be large. If V is large, the ratio will be small. And that's how we interpret the ideal gas law, and that's how we can find the rate of change of any variable in the ideal gas law using partial derivatives, just like this example. And that's how it's done.